Hey, greetings. Today we are going to discuss how to take notes from your RAS CAMCAS. Very important. And I want you to pay close attention so that you follow the same format, you get the most benefit out of this particular exercise. First of all, I've got to tell you this. Even though sometimes uh, I am quite entertaining, uh, yeah, uh, this is not an entertainment video. Grass casts are just not. They're an educational video, which means you have to treat it and listen to it very differently than you do the casual videos that you watch on YouTube. This is the technology monster. The technology monster can be very helpful to you. It can be very helpful to all of us. It's being very helpful to me now because I can teach this lessons online uh, very simply. However, it can be extremely, that monster can be extremely distracting. And it be can become something that consumes you in a way that you don't want it to consume you. You, don't, you want to use technology to your, to your advantage, but you do not want technology to control you. And sometimes technology tends to control us. When you watch these educational videos, I want you to do me a huge favor. I want you to turn off your TVs, your phones. In fact, put them in another room. Every time you watch a video, heed my advice. Put it in another room. Resist the urge to I am or go to Facebook. Have control of yourself. Self-control is a wonderful, wonderful aspect that is important to all of us in building our character. So therefore, I ask you to just focus on this one device at this moment and not anything else so that you can get the most out of it. So focus, focus, focus. Focus with your eyes and pay attention with your ears. Don't just go through the motions. Okay, I have to listen to this video because Ms. Z said so. This is a learning opportunity. This is for you. These are concepts that you need to understand and master. So therefore, it is an important part of your chemistry education. If you skip the videos, it will be like skipping half of the, the classes for the entire year. You won't be able to pass. But the focus is not passing. That's not what I want. What I want most is for you to learn. To learn chemistry and to learn to learn. To become an active learner. To make decisions for yourself, to make sound educational choices, to utilize your mind to the best of your capabilities. Are you going to be able to do this? Of course you are. I trust in you. Well, how are we going to take notes then? This is the format that I want you to use. I want you to notice that on the left-hand side, there are goals or, uh, first of all, the topic, title. You don't have to write topic, title. I want you to write the topic of the, the RASCast. I want you to set up your page just like this. The date is, and the day is on the right-hand side. Then write down the unit, unit one, unit two, whatever the focus of that unit is. And then you're going to write your notes on the right-hand side. You are accustomed to Cornell notes. This is the format. Keep in mind that I said that you can use whatever method works for you, whether it's bullets, 
or outline. Whatever works for you best on that right hand side. On the left hand side, write topics, questions, so that you can use this as a study tool. You already have experience with this. I know you have because of your prior science class, your physics class. I know you're capable of doing this. After you have completed the notes, I'm going to talk more about that in a little bit. You are going to take notes not only of what you read, but what you hear. You will write a summary without looking back at the notes, a summary of what you've learned. And then, very importantly, I want you to list questions. Questions that were not answered in the video. Be sure that it's not questions that I were answered in the video. New questions. I may not know the answers to them, but we'll look them up together. Or I will guide you to look them up. Keep in mind that the format, the space here, is not, in, not what's important. This Obviously, the summary will not fit in that small space that you have there. However, uh, you can expand it. You can go to the next page, whatever is necessary. But this is the format that you're going to use in every single one of the videos. Well, you know, students tell me all the time, I don't know what to write. What do I do? What do I do? Well, it's simple. Listen attentively. First of all, write everything that you see. Everything. Plus, key information of what you hear. So you're not only writing notes on what you see, but also make sense of it and write those things that you hear that are important. Use your own shorthand, but be consistent. I'm going to show you some tricks, some things that you can use as shorthand. And the most important thing is for you to use the pause button liberally. These videos, for the most part, are less than 10 minutes in length. There are a few that I made last year that are a little more, are a little lengthier. And I might just split them up. But the important thing is that you have control of the pause button. You can pause anytime you want, anytime you need to, and listen to it again. And if you need to, listen to the whole thing again. Spend the time. It'll pay great dividends back in class because I expect you to know this information before you go into the next day. Here are some abbreviations. You might want to practice. Pause now. Set up your notebook and begin again. Possibly write down some of the notes. I would like to see what you've done with this after uh, you come back tomorrow. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check check to see it, how you've done and how I can help you to become better at uh, taking notes from the RASCAS. Here are a few ways students uh, use to abbreviate. There are many, many others. So just take a moment, jot them down, pause, and then move forward. You can develop your own system of abbreviations. There are many, many others. W slash for with. There are many that I've developed myself uh, that I use that no one else possibly would understand. Um, a triangle means therefore. So that's something useful as well. When you finish a listen and taking actually excellent notes, ask yourself, what was the goal of the video? So it's, it'll be learning to do something or, or a, a certain objective. And then honestly ask yourself, did I achieve this goal? If the answer is yes, high five with explosion. 
If the answer is no, go back, start again. Maybe you were distracted, you weren't focused. Listen to it again and go through it one more time. What's the point of these? The point of these RASCAM tasks is for you to learn key concepts. And I've already explained how it allows us to do much more in class. The important thing is that you have to master this material by the time you finish the podcast. Please remember, it is extremely important that you follow. When you're satisfied that you have achieved your goal, write a summary or answer the questions. Some videos will have questions built in, provided for you. Answer those questions in lieu of a summary. If no questions are given, then write a summary. And then write any questions you might still have. But be sure that your question was not answered in the video. That's key. Congratulations, you are now prepared for tomorrow's class. Have a great evening.